Hi guys, this is Aaron from Wine Cult, and welcome to another Bottle Breakdown. So today we're talking about the 2022 Sauvignon Blanc from M. Dean. Uh, but first, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. So this is 100% Sauvignon Blanc from the central coast of California. Uh, the fruit here was uh, picked in the early morning and then immediately pressed into stainless steel tanks for fermentation. Uh, the wine was then settled for about 24 hours and racked off the lees. Uh, fermentation was then steady in temperature or temperature controlled in tanks for a little over three months uh, with an additional three months in stainless steel before bottling. Uh, no portion of the wine whatsoever went through malolactic fermentation, so this wine maintains that very, very classic Sauvignon Blanc profile with its bright, screaming bright acidity. M. Dean is actually the project of Michael Dean, who's probably most famous as an importer after having operated for 35 years. Uh, now for the wine project, he recruited Elisa or AJ Jacobson as his head winemaker uh, to help make his vision a reality. Now as a UC Davis graduate, uh, who's widely respected for her craft, AJ was making wine for about 19 years at Joel Gott Wines before teaming up with Michael to create M. Dean. Twenty twenty two was actually an unreasonably cool growing season. Uh, as a result, the M. Dean uh, California Sauv Blanc really features a great concentration of fruit flavors, uh, combined with, as I said before, very bright acidity. Uh, a Labor Day heat wave actually followed by a welcome rain brought, uh, you know, about as much moisture or precipitation as this wine really got and has created just a classic Sauvignon Blanc with very, very fresh flavors of cut grass and a very bright minerality. So refreshing grapefruit, lemon, a little bit of melon, star fruit, uh, you know, really, really enjoy the tropical notes on this wine. Um, it pairs classically well with dishes like uh, fish, if you want to do sushi, uh, vegetables, even some poultry. I think this would be fantastic, though, with some creamy goat cheese. For more bottle breakdowns and other great wine content, don't forget to subscribe. I'm Aaron from Wine Cult, and I'll see you next time.